All right, so let's look at evaluating piecewise functions. So here we have a piecewise function. We have f of x equals 6x minus 1 if x is less than 0 and 7x plus 3 if x is greater than or equal to 0. And we want to evaluate. We want to find f of negative 3, f of 0, and f of 4. So basically what it means is if we're taking an x value that's less than 0 and we're evaluating the function, okay, and the x value that we're plugging in is less than 0, we're going to plug it into this function, 6x minus 1. If the value we're plugging in for x is greater than or equal to 0, we're going to plug it into this one, 7x plus 3. All right, so let's look at this. We have f of negative 3. So you can see that negative 3 is less than 0, so I'm going to plug the negative 3 in for x into the 6x minus 1. So this is going to give us 6 times negative 3 minus 1, which is going to give us negative 18 minus 1, which is negative 19. All right. So let's look at this, f of 0. Well, which one does that fall fall into? Well, that's this one because this is when x is greater than or equal to 0. So we're going to plug the 0 in for x into the 7x plus 3. So that's 7 times 0 plus 3, which is 0 plus 3, which equals 3. And then we have f of 4. So 4, well, that's greater than 0. So that's going to be this one, the 7x plus 3. We're going to put 4 in for x. And so that's 7 times 4 plus 3, which is 28 plus 3, which equals 31. All right, let's take a look at one more. All right, let me, let me go ahead and make this text here a little bigger. All right. All right, so here we have f of x equals x plus 5 if x is less than 5 and 2x minus 3 if x is greater than 5. All right, so for the first one, the f of 1, well, the 1 is less than 5, so that's going to fall into this one. So I'm going to plug the 1 in for x here. So that's going to be 1 plus 5 gives us 6. All right, now what about f of 10? Well, 10 is larger than 5. It's greater than 5, so that's going to be we're going to plug it into this part of the function, 2x minus 3. And so that's 2 times 10 minus 3, which is 20 minus 3, which equals 17. All right, now let's look at this one, f of 5. Well, where does that fall? Well, it's neither one, okay? This one is only for values less than 5, and this one is for values greater than 5. There's no or equal to in this one. So this one would be undefined. All right, so hopefully this video helped. Uh, and you can, if you like them, you can watch my other videos. All right, thanks.